Dr. Sears, Ozempic is something we've talked about before, but there's some newer research that goes along with it. So let's recap for our audience. Why is this the new wonder drug? Because a wonder drug does more than one thing. You know, Ozempic was developed for treating diabetes, but now we know it's now approved for basically weight loss, for treating heart disease, to say, oh my God, what a wonder drug. So how can it do all these things? Well, uh, the fact is, let's go back and look at the history of Ozempic. It was originally developed as a treatment for diabetes. It is known what is, is called an incretin. It actually increases the levels of insulin being secreted from the pancreas. I say, well, that doesn't make sense because I have more insulin floating around the bloodstream. You know, I want to get fat because insulin in the bloodstream will make you fat. Mm. But insulin in the brain, and particularly the hypothalamus, makes you thin. I say, mm. I don't get it. That's because metabolism is very complex. So uh, they found out that though it was developed initially for treating diabetes, if they used higher and higher levels, they had something totally unexpected. People weren't hungry. Because now basically the lower levels of the uh, active ingredient in Ozempic were good for increasing uh, insulin to basically uh, bring down blood sugar, but higher levels were now getting the brain to say, stop eating. So Though, though that's good news, I lost weight. The bad news is I didn't lose that much fat. We've talked about this before. The weight loss is great, uh, but the fat loss was not so great because you're losing a lot of lean body mass. Whatever, you know, if I can fit better in my clothes, I can suffer, you know, suffer, you know, a little loss of muscle, a little loss of the heart tissue, a little <laughs> loss of the liver. Uh, it'll grow yeah. back. <laughs> So, uh, but now we've seen now uh, the drug companies say, what else could happen? Well, it says, yes, it can reduce fatty liver. This is another epidemic in America. It can reduce addiction. I don't like alcohol as much. It can basically reduce depression. You say, oh my goodness gracious, you know, three unique diseases are one, but now we have many more. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. Yeah. How, how are these working to do all these great benefits that they're touting? <laughs> because all these chronic diseases and many, many more are related to increased insulin resistance. Now, how Ozempic works is primarily at high enough concentrations, it, you're not hungry. And what if you're not hungry? What happens? Hunger goes down. You lose weight, right? Well, no, you, you, you basically don't eat as much food well, and now the weight goes down. Right. So, uh, so what the, the GPL-1, or basically this is what agonist that um, uh, Ozempic is, what it does, it causes calorie restriction. What's the number one thing you tell all of your patients they want to lose weight? Restrict calories. <laughs> it works if they can do it. Mm -hmm. Ozempic says, I'll give you a little helping hand uh, at a price, of course. Now, one of the consequences when you restrict calories is that AMPK, the master regulator, of a metabolism in every cell in your body goes up. And when AMP goes up, then you get all these good things happening. Yes, you will lose weight, but primarily uh, excess body fat, not, uh, not lean body mass. Yes, you will treat diabetes because it's AMPK that actually pulls the glucose out of the bloodstream. Yes, you will basically see a decrease in terms of, um, of other diseases like fatty liver. Why? because you're burning fat faster in the liver. You're also basically reducing inflammation, an underlying cause of depression, and you're also basically affecting basically the dopamine signaling pathways in the brain that make you less, uh, uh, basically more likely to basically abuse a substance, whether it could be alcohol or a drug. Mm -hmm. So when we look at uh, the Ozempic, it really basically is kind of a, a very high tech, very expensive with some side effects way of increasing AMPK activity that decreases insulin resistance. So now I'm hoping you're going to tell us how we can naturally increase AMPK. Well, uh, that's <laughs> you've, you've already told me the answer, calorie restriction. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not quite the answer. There's more to it as usual. So what do we want to do? If I want to restrict calories, I'd wire my mouth shut. Okay, that's <laughs> going to that's going to work. That's going to work for a little while, but that's not, not a long term solution. So restricting calories is the a very direct way of now uh, increasing AMPK, but there's also two other aspects. One, what is the balance of the calories? Now you have to balance protein to carbohydrate to make sure you're getting a balance of hormones in the bloodstream 
So you're now not losing lean body mass. You also have to basically have indirect activators of AMPK working with it, right? They're little partners. One would be the omega-3 fatty acids. They decrease inflammation, but they also increase AMPK activity and also polyphenols. These are the chemicals that give fruits and vegetables their color. They reduce oxidative stress that increases insulin resistance, but they also activate AMPK. So it's really basically a three-component system. Uh, yeah, really calorie restriction, but following the zone diet, adding omega-3 fatty acids, and adding polyphenols. And now what you have is now what I call metabolic engineering. You're now using your food as a powerful drug, more powerful than Ozempic, to get all the benefits you hear about in the uh, uh, recent literature. Yeah, you want to treat diabetes? Okay, metabolic engineering. You want to lose fat? Metabolic engineering. You want to reduce fatty liver? Metabolic engineering. You want to reduce heart disease? Metabolic engineering. You get the picture here. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Sears, a way to gauge success here is one, your clothes are going to start fitting better. But beyond that, um, what are the blood markers that you're going to start see, to see change? You know, because I know there's so many other markers and uh, conditions that you're going to impact by following this way of life. It'd be nice to see a, a blood marker for AMBK, but you can't because it's inside the cell. It doesn't travel through the blood. Mm -hmm. But there is a marker, a marker called HOMA IR. It's a marker that's easily measured. And as HOMA IR goes down, it means insulin resistance is going down, which means AMPK activity is going up in every one of your 30 trillion cells in the body. So this becomes a very good marker besides the fit of your clothes. And mm -hmm. the fact is you're not hungry and more, and you have more mental acuity that basically you are reprogramming your metabolism. Now, why do you want to do that? Three reasons. One, you want to stay well. So what's the definition? My definition of wellness? It basically is the absence of insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, eventually, as we get older, you're not at a point yet, but old people like me, we get older, uh, we may start developing now certain types of long-term chronic diseases. So now why do you want to follow metabolic engineering? If you're taking a drug for any type of chronic disease, then AMPK activation basically makes that drug work better mm -hmm. at lower concentrations. Now, who doesn't want to take fewer drugs? Right. Especially well, as you age. <laughs> uh, but but everybody says, not. You know, I don't want to take more drugs. However, there's one a group of people who say, no, I want you to take more drugs and more expensive drugs. Yes. Those are the drug companies. Yeah. Okay. okay. Most people say, great news, except for the drug companies. Say, you mean I, had, I you can get by with my cheaper drugs that basically don't cost very much? Say, yeah, I'm going to stick it to you. But it means you've got some skin in the game, that you're controlling your metabolism to make those drugs work better. But the final reason that you want to follow metabolic engineering is you want to slow down the aging process. Whether you're perfectly well, or basically you have some chronic disease state, you really want to slow down aging. And that's the key of AMPK. It basically goes in there and removes the what are called senescent cells, uh, also known as zombie cells, which are the underlying cause of developing chronic disease and speeding up the aging process. Mm -hmm. So you have an op opportunity to say, I want to lose weight by using Ozempic or I want to slow down the aging process and basically take fewer drugs the rest of my life using metabolic engineering. I don't think it seems a like a no brainer. <laughs> I think I, I, I agree with you. So Dr. Sears, the science on metabolic engineering is complex. So if people want to learn more about this, where should they go? Well, this is why we have our site, drsears.com. Why? Because as you said, uh, metabolism is complex and how to reprogram it is even more complex. But we try to break it down into simple steps, bite-sized steps, as you might say. Say, yeah. I can do this. Mm -hmm. I said to basically have the right balance of protein to carbohydrate using the zone diet. Add some omega-3 fatty acids, like your great-grandmother told you, saying you can't leave the house until you have your cod liver oil. And you basically take your polyphenols. And where do you find polyphenols? Fruits and veggies. That's right. So grandma was right. She's at the cutting edge of 21st century biotechnology. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> For more on this subject and many other topics on the science of wellness, go to drsears.com.